The price of your meal at the fast food chain Wendy's could cost you a little more next year, but it all depends on what time of day you order. The company is planning to roll out a dynamic pricing model for its menu. That means prices will change throughout the day based on a few different factors. Jolene Kent explains. Taking a bigger bite out of shoppers' incomes, the most in three decades, and be prepared to shell out more. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. Wendy's announced it'll start testing dynamic pricing on digital menu boards next year, a form of surge pricing like Uber and Lyft. Artificial intelligence will suggest menu items and determine whether to raise prices based on demand, location, and time. Wendy says, for example, it might suggest a cool frosty on a warm summer day. This will allow us to be more nimble and flexible with pricing. Why introduce this when customers can easily just go somewhere else? Clearly, the company is trying to find ways to boost its share price and improve its profit margins. But it could come at the expense of losing some faithful customers. Cereal! Yeah! Beyond the burgers, Kellogg is also under fire after its CEO suggested consumers struggling with inflation could eat cereal for dinner. If you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. Backlash online was swift. This fool making four million bucks a year. You think he's feeding his kids cereal for dinner? It's a tough sell because cereal prices have surged more than 25 percent compared to pre-pandemic. Well, it rings a little bit like the French Revolution, let them eat cereal, and it does sort of not read the room very well. Families are really struggling to afford bringing food to the table to feed everyone at the table, and now they're suggesting cereal for dinner. It just seems like he's missing the point here. And Jolene Kent joins us now from Los Angeles. So uh, the customers are going to vote when this thing gets rolled out, but what do we know? Are they ready for something like this? Well, customers are very price sensitive, especially when it comes to fast food. And Wendy's has had a bit of a struggle, an uphill climb compared to its competitors in recent years. And so the idea here is to test this out. Wendy's tells us that you could possibly see the price fluctuate of, on a frosty, for example, on a warm summer day. Now, these types of things, though, can be very sensitive when it comes to inflation, even though inflation has steadied out a little bit. Back in January, it was 3.1 percent. We're still coming off of two very big years of inflation that have really affected grocery prices and restaurant prices as well. So it really is up to the customer. And of course, a lot of fast food customers are not very sticky. They will happily go elsewhere uh, to give another brand their business. So just in time pricing, is there any evidence that Wendy's is doing anything else here other than basically just trying to squeeze out as much uh, as they can from the consumer by by time shifting these prices? I mean, is there anything else they might be trying to do, push customers to other hours of the day, uh, make them order more um, in the drive through? Any other uh, um, reason they might be doing this? Yeah, it's possible that they are definitely looking for more efficiencies at Wendy's. They're investing about $30 million in different kinds of technology, including AI and this surge pricing testing. And so what we know is that, yes, this could really move a customer to maybe spend at a different time. But what analysts outside of Wendy's are saying is, look, this really could be a big risk to the customer and because they're not willing to pay as much when it comes to that lunch rush. Fast food is known as budget and a budget-friendly option. And so you could easily lose customers that way. Wendy's certainly gambling here, but you could also see if this works well, other fast food chains potentially adopting it. Jolene Kent in Los Angeles. Thank you.